in the Catskill Mountains of New York. Hunter, New York, gonna do three more Catskill High Peaks, I already have 10. And West, this is gonna be West Kill, Southwest Hunter and Hunter. Uh, mostly a loop, gotta do three miles on the road to start because this is the way it lines up. Fortunately, it seems like three of the four Catskills I've done slash I'm doing now, I've had to do at least like a, yeah, three mile road connector. Is that, the Catskills are more of a out and back hiking area uh, compared to some other areas where there's a lot more loops. And I definitely like loops and not out and back, so it's unfortunate, but fortunately I have been able to make it loose with the road connection so far. Uh, yeah, so three flat miles on the road, then I think a 2,000 foot climb up West Kill Mountain on the Devil's Path. The Devil's Path is a like 24, 25 mile trail that kind of traverses some of the higher peaks in the Catskills. It, uh, that's red blazed. It's kind of like the main trail of the Cat, main tough trail of the Catskills, like 9,000 feet of elevation gain. And that's kind of akin to the Adirondacks Great Range Traverse or the Presidential Traverse for the Adirondacks and the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Yeah, so the last mountain is going to be Hunter Mountain. That's over 4,000 feet. It's one of two Catskill peaks over 4,000 feet, with the other one being Slide Mountain, which I did last year. There's supposed to be a fire tower there. A bit foggy today, so I don't know how the views will go. But, uh, yeah, long drive. So long drive back. Then I get it going. Little background on the Catskill High Peaks. So there's 33 peaks included over 3,500 feet of gain. So that's kind of that list. So after this, if this goes well, I should have 13 out of 33, a little over a third. But what's different about the Catskill High Peaks versus you know Adirondack 46ers, those are over 4,000, or White Mountain or New Hampshire 4,000 footers over 4,000 is that they don't all have a maintained uh, trail to the top. And there's actually like 10 or 15 of them, I'm not sure how many, that yeah, don't have uh, maintained trails. All the other trails are maintained by the state of New York, I believe. And there's like, uh, for some of them, they're popular enough that people hiking them kind of creates a path that is basically a trail, it's just not maintained. So that's easy enough to follow, but some of them you actually have to bushwhack through the woods and figure out your own navigation to get to the top. So for that reason, I'm probably that reason and because so many of them are out and backs, and I don't really have many more loops remaining. I think this might actually be the last loop. I'm probably gonna move forward with some other ranges like the uh, White Mountains and finish those lists before finishing the Catskills. Just over four miles in, about a mile into the Devil's Path now. Uh, road miles were downhill, around about 640 pace. And then now on this, more technical, but uh, the, the last mile didn't climb much, I think like 200 feet. So I think it's four miles to the top of West Hill, the first summit, and uh, continue on the Devil's Path. Almost five miles in now. Uh, not feeling great on this climb, just heavy legs and don't want to run. Uh, super foggy and humid too, as you can see. So, Taking a little break through my heart right now. And uh, I've gone uphill 1,000 so far. So probably, pretty much exactly another 1,000 feet to the top of West Kill. That should be good. the summit of West Kill Mountain, as far as I can tell. I think it might be a little bit further along. So that's 3,880 feet. And first high peak of today. 
11th total. Yeah, kind of underwhelming. Both uh, being under the trees and so foggy, you can't even really tell you're high up. But, uh, I don't know, it's been alright. Alright, here's the real summit. So, got a pretty long descent, I guess. I think this one's really steep. And then, make, make my way up Southwest Hunter and Hunter. Still on the Devil's Path. Uh, got back down to about 2,500 feet elevation. And going back up now. Getting pretty close to the Southwest Hunter Spur. So that's probably in a third of a mile or so. And uh, yeah, it's just super rocky here as you can see. It's not actually that steep, but it's just kind of hard to run on with all the loose rocks and leaves. Whew. It's a long climb. I think I've gone up a thousand feet since that stream. Uh, I feel a lot better on this climb than I did on West Kill. I had to stop a couple of times on West Kill just because my heart rate was through the roof but uh, this feels this feels better not runnable it's steep super technical too 1734 for that mile i think i had like i don't know a thousand or so feet of gain so i think that's good nice in the pines here hasn't been like this so far This is, this is marking the summit Southwest Hunter. So that is the second high peak of the day and 12 total. Yeah, at least it's marked. Yeah, crappy path. Uh, but uh, I guess you're supposed to bushwhack to this one, so uh, there is a trail. I'm at 37, 11 feet based on my watch. I've climbed almost 4,000 now, so gonna go down 200 uh, back to the end of this uh, finish up the spur go back to the devil's path and then probably a 500 foot climb up to the top of hunter then I think it's a dirt road or very wide easy trail because the FKT holder ran like five five minute miles or like 530s down the summit of hunter so should be pretty easy from there yeah almost getting to the final stages of today uh, holding it holding pretty well for the most part, except bonked a little bit on the last climb, but, you know, refuel and get going. So here, diverged from the Devil's Path, came up this way. It continues along that way. Actually, it's very easy running, at least for a little bit. Um, now I'm getting on Yellow Trail. Hunter Mountain Fire Tower, 1.7 miles, which is also the summit, I believe. Yeah, so Buttermilk Falls, that was the where I refilled water, and West Kill, 4.8 miles. So 4.8, and then it said 4.8 from the road. So I was on the Devil's Path for 9.6 miles, so I covered quite a bit of it, given it's about 24. I've actually done most of it now because 2020, my hike probably covered like seven or eight miles of it, so maybe like two thirds. The only mountain I haven't done is the next one plateau on the Devil's Path. Fire tower.
super foggy. This Hunter Mountain, 4,040 feet, second tall peak in the Catskills, third high peak for today, and 13 total. Technical terrain, not my favorite in the video there. I'll put the stats.